Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another episode of The Fishing Teacher and really glad you guys took some time to swing by and check the video out. Always uh, much appreciated for that. And guys, today we're gonna be talking about fishing in calm water conditions when there's like no wind whatsoever, when the lake is just glass smooth out there, it sort of requires a different approach. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. And also guys, just like to invite everybody out there if you haven't had a chance and you wanna support the fishing teacher, uh, two of the best ways you can do it are subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and also check out our links that we put in the description of the videos. That's a good way to help out if you wanna use those links too, so much appreciated. Okay guys, wind or the lack of it has a, uh, a huge impact in fishing as far as how you wanna fish, techniques and that type of stuff. And there's a lot to it. It's like we could do an hour long video just talking about the effects of wind and we could do a long video just talking about how to fish in calm water. So what I'm gonna try to do, you know, just to give you guys a foundation if you're not real familiar with fishing on calm conditions, I'm gonna talk a little bit about, you know, some techniques and some things you can do uh, to help you know increase your odds with that. Now, a lot of the ways that you fish, as far as the techniques go when you're fishing calm water, it has to do with the water clarity and the water temperature as far as some different options. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna sort of go through um, one end to the other as far as temperature and water clarity and that type of stuff and uh, give you some good advice for fishing in calm water conditions. Now, first of all, guys, my favorite time to fish in a calm water condition is in the springtime of the year. In the springtime of the year, when that water temperature is around 60 degrees or so, um, I like to fish in calm water situations and I like to fish in clear water because you can see a lot of fish swimming around there. There's a lot of fish up shallow, they're cruising, they're, they're uh, just, you know, up roaming around, you know, for about a month in shallow water if it's real clear. It's a really fun way to fish. And one of my favorite ways to fish, you know, in the springtime of the year when there's no wind is with a soft plastic stick bait or just a straight tail plastic worm wacky rig. Just fish at wacky rig, you know, fish in those areas where you're seeing the fish swimming around. It's a really good way to catch them. Another good way to catch them anytime the water temperature is like over 60 degrees when the water's calm, um, all the way up to when the water's 80 degrees is the water's clear, guys. The top water is a great way to catch them when it's calm out there. One of my favorite ways to catch bass, and especially if you have a lot of smallmouth bass in the lake you're fishing, is to take a walking type top water, like a, a Zerispook or a Mega Bass Dive Monte, something that walks back, to, back and forth, and fish it on those calm days out there. And they're really good, especially if you got a calm day that has some clouds on it or wind, because in clear water, those fish will come a long way to hit a top water in clear water, especially if you have a lot of smallmouth, uh, you know, visible and that type of thing. Another good way to catch them in clear water situations, anytime the water temperature is over 60 degrees, is on a floating worm. Um, we've talked about it a little bit before in the past. Just take like a bright colored floating worm, like a yellow or a white or something like that, and make long casts in that shallow water with it. That's a really good way to catch them. Um, they bite a floating worm really good in the calm conditions because the fish can see it a long way and you're keeping it close to the surface so they can see it from a long way on the surface. So that's a, another really good way to catch them. Um, and then the, when you start losing your water visibility, say for example, you, in clear water, the techniques I just talked about were for water visibilities like over four or five feet. As you lose your water clarity, some of those uh, techniques go away a little bit. And as you lose your water clarity, say that water temperature, the water visibility starts to get a little bit, little bit dirtier, like down to two feet, down to three feet, or maybe less than that. One of my favorite ways to catch uh, bass when it's really calm out there like that is on some type of a flipping and pitching bait around some type of cover. So say for example, if the water visibility is about two feet or something like that, one of my favorite ways to catch them is to take like a creature bait or a Texas rig worm or a jig and I flip and pitch around any uh, shallow water cover, especially if that shallow water cover has shade to it, like shade around boat docks, shade from overhanging trees, you know, shady areas from lay down trees in the water, um, you know, shallow grass, anything like that. Just flipping and pitching whatever cover you have available. If you have a lake that has grass in it, flipping grass is gonna be good. If you have a lake that's got a bunch of docks in it, that's gonna be good. Um, Flipping is a great way to catch them when it's calm, especially like if the water's high and you got flooded vegetation and all that type of stuff. Now, if you're 
if the uh, flipping bite isn't there, say for example, you have a lake that doesn't have much cover in it and you got like maybe a lot of rocky banks or something like that. When it's calm out there and the water temperature is over 60 degrees, a little crankbait can work real good. Some type of a small profile uh, crankbait that, you know, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches long, that'll get you a bite when it's really calm out there, a really good way to catch them. And uh, those are probably my two favorite ways in off colored water. Now in the winter time, um, that is the, the, the winter time is probably the best time to fish when it's calm as far as overall, because one of the things I found out about fishing in calm water in the winter time is that is one time of the year where wind doesn't really help you out that much. In fact, wind can sometimes hurt you. So in the winter time when it's calm, I'll still fish my A rigs, my jerk baits, spoons, that type of stuff, because it doesn't seem to affect them a little bit. But generally what you have is any time other than winter, like spring, summer, and fall, the fish are always gonna be more active when the wind's blowing. That's just sort of like a reality of bass fishing. But like I said, with the techniques that I talked about, you can still catch them on those calm days out there. It's gonna to be tougher for a lot of things, but um, you can still catch them by adjusting your techniques. For example, let's say um, you're out there and you're, you're catching fish water visibility is four feet and the water temperature is 60 degrees and you're catching some fish on a crankbait, just cranking rocky banks and you've got some wind, you know, 10, 15 mile an hour wind. Um, a lot of times if you lose the wind and don't have any wind at all, you'll never get a bite on a crankbait. Same thing on a spinnerbait. If it's windy out there, a lot of times that'll make fish more active on a spinnerbait. If you lose that wind, they won't touch it. And that's when you have to go to some of those baits we talked about a little bit earlier. But anyway, guys, don't be intimidated by calm, you know, conditions out there. It's just a matter of adjusting your techniques. If I could give you one piece of advice on fishing calm water, if the water temperature is between, say, um, 55 to 65 degrees, and the water is really, really clear and calm, fish shallow, if the water temperatures are like over 70 degrees or something like that, um, and on up to close to 80 degrees in clear water, you know, fish deeper or fish top water early and late in the day with that. It's going to help you out a lot. So anyway, hope it, hope it uh, helps you guys catch some. We'll talk later.